Well, hello everyone. Dan Terry Gardner here, back with another episode of Burger Paradise. Now, things may look a little different because remember, at the end of last episode, we got fresh patties, which I don't know if it was the best decision, but we couldn't handle any more customers. We were at our limit. So, what I ended up doing is we were we were prepping for this. We follow my mouse. We were prepping to actually let's do it like this. We were prepping to have a teleporter, right? So we only have one teleporter system now. The other way around this is if we run all the plates together, we could have a double teleporter system. I don't know if that will be better or worse for us at the moment. Um, so I've been debating that heavily. Be so yeah, because at the end of the day, the same amount of dishes have to get moved, regardless if they go together or not. As soon as there's a dish here and gets moved, it'll trigger this table to be open. Same thing with this one, um, so on and so forth. I have this re-rigged here to so basically have all these two exclusively going into this one, which goes into a auto plater, which I have the baby stack as well going to auto plater. And then that's going to be pushing right into number three. So basically the bottom two tables are 100% automated. We have um, auto delivery with the teleporter and we have auto dish removal with the two grabbers going to this teleporter. So the bottom two tables are 100% taken care of. The top two tables are still manually feeding them. Now the issue is that the mixer is not very fast or a mixer is not very fast. Ideally, we'd have a rapid mixer here. Now, the other thing we could do is we don't really need more grabbers at, like today. So what I'm thinking of doing is you come in here. Uh, what is what is this, by the way? Coffee tables. So we're not actually needing coffee tables anymore. We have no space for coffee tables. So I think what we're gonna do is let's just lose all of these coffee tables. Okay, I'll, I'll keep one. And I'm just going to get rid of a lot of this stuff. And the reason why is I want to re-roll. We can re-roll a bunch. And only thing that we're re only thing we are re-rolling for, honestly, is going to be um is going to be a rapid mixer or if we get a conveyor mixer, we could also conveyor mixer or really any other mixer because we have one, two, we have four grabbers um we have a couple that we could swiftly swap. I'm almost, I almost want to grab this one just in case. Because if we end up getting another mixer, uh, actually, that's not going to work because we got to be able to combine the eggs. Uh, that was a silly buy. All right. We're going to be all we need really is uh, we need a rapid mixer. So I'm going to reroll a bunch. Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't know. Uh, none of those are anything that we could be used for. Ignore this right now. I mean, rerolling to get a rapid mixer is going to be tough. Uh, another danger hob because the issue is the, the the biggest issue we have right now. Actually, I should I should take the dumb waiter honestly. I should take the dumb waiter. And if we all we need to do is research it one day, and we can get what we need. Really, I'm gonna reroll a couple more times, see if we can land that rapid mixer. Nope, danger hob, wash base, a lot of good good things. Nope, I'm gonna do at least two or three more. I think it's safe to do two or three more. Ooh, a reg okay, regular mixer. Now, we could just take that regular mixer and try to upgrade it for the next day. But I think we want to just keep trying to re-roll. And I'm going to re-roll down to maybe, because what's a teleporter cost? 1250, 12 has 2500. So um, I want to keep rolling down. I want to keep rolling. We have a, we have a bunch more. Actually, a frozen prep wouldn't be terrible. Not necessarily needed. We need a wrap. Oh, dang it, a second mixer. Okay, so we're already below what we need. I'm going to reroll. I know we're spending a lot of cash right now. But I think, oh my god, a third mixer, but it's not a rapid. I'm going to do one more reroll, and I think that's our limit. Oh my god, another mixer. Well, no, because if they're 1250 and we discount them, that'll be 1250 in total. I can't believe we had four mixers. Come on, man. Four mixers and not even a... Oh, okay, now I'm really, really out of... I'm, uh, I mean, we're going to make a lot of money back. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, a stinking heated mixer, guys. That's like the least best thing we can get. Now, what are the, what's the order go? Does it go heated, rapid, conveyor? I don't know. I'm going to reroll one. Or, we really spent over 2,000 coins. Dang. One more time. <laughs> oh my god. All we spent like how much did we have? Three thousand? 
No, we couldn't have 3,000. Yeah, I guess we could have because four rolls would have been 1,000 coins. Well, you know what? We're at least going to get our dumb waiters because if we can filter this back up into here, then we'll have full auto. Now, is that going to be enough? I don't know because the issue is the mixer here. So let me just do a real quick practice mode and I'll show you guys kind of where we're at. Um, you can obviously see the system working perfectly fine. I have the baby plate stack there. I'm going to turn this this way. So basically, in the beginning, what happens before the rush comes is that the teleporter will get backed up. Basically, there'll be two things backing up before the other. So it'll back up to there and it'll, well, okay, the, the cats are taking it. So it doesn't necessarily count because otherwise it would be backing up and then these would back up. We could have one, one, two, well, one, two, three, and then eight. So that's 11. And the problem is, yeah, see how it's going to start backing up now, which is exactly what we want. Now, the problem is, is when this, these 11 are exhausted, we can't do anything else. That's where we're kind of stuck. So we have two of these down here. Uh, I thought we, did we have a third one somewhere? I thought we had a third one. Hey, right here it is. Okay, here. So we're just going to rock and roll this, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I just, I don't know. 108 customers. We just have to wait. Like we're not, there's not much for us to do right now. Um, if I see a mixer on the blueprint desk, I'll probably take it if I can get there in time. Otherwise we're just, there it is. Otherwise we're just going to be waiting because the groups are going to come and they're going to keep coming and coming and coming and coming fast to see what's happening now is everything else is going to start backing up, but just look how slow it is. Cause the mixer is ridiculously slow. Now hindsight, should we have been researching a mixer right now? I don't know. Maybe. Because a rapid mixer is what we need. I can't now reach the discount desk. Oh, I can't reach the discount desk. Shoot. So what I plan to do isn't going to work now. Oh, bonehead move. Because these are 1250. So that's 2,500 coins. There's no way we're going to make over 2,000 coins today. Ah, oh, that is a kick in the pants. <clears throat> you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I'm just going to try to start. I'm not sure what I can do with some of these. Just to try to keep this built up as much as possible. I have no other where to put it. If we get another prep station, we might be here. They come. All right, let's just see what happens. I mean, I'm limited to with, with what I can do, right? And look how look at the patients down at the bottom. And what I want to do is I just want to hold these at the top until I can't hold them. Uh, like I'm going to use because as long as there's a queue outside, people are not going to come inside. If that makes sense. Uh, or sorry, if, if there's a queue outside, people are not going to lose patience inside. So these guys can sit here literally forever. And I just want to wait and wait and wait until, I don't know, this is going to be a long day. Uh, I guess we could help out a little bit. It's not going to hurt doing this. It's just I want to try to leave as many burgers in here as possible because we're going to need them later on. But if we keep getting single groups, I want to kind of tap into that because it will keep things moving a little bit better. And we keep getting single groups as you can see see the bottom tables they're they're automated I, I, this was this was the biggest bonehead move i did that would have really i'm going to take the prep this would have really helped us out so much having another teleporter but again it's the throughput of, of the burgers single orders i'm going to send the other ones i'm just going to i'm going to wait on them because it, it's just a lot of waiting there's not going to be much that we're going to be able to do right now except wait now i could probably turn this oh it's interesting that it sucked it through there interesting that it did that uh oh, and I just broke our system. I just broke it. No, I didn't break it. I didn't break it. Okay, I didn't break it. I can, I can, I can grab it from here. Oh my gosh, didn't break it. Thankfully, because I sent it through without a, a stinking plate. Okay, we're okay here. Wow, we're not okay. It just randomly the grabber sometimes will pull one this way. See like that. Why it does it, I don't know, but it does, and it's fine. I still want to try to focus on single orders at the top first. Just because it's just one hamburger and we're down to five at the bottom or five on the prep station because as you can see right now the issue is just the speed at which the burgers are cooking it seems to be randomly putting some down here which is still very interesting to me now the only thing i can break is if i put a burger without a a, a plate on here which i it's impossible to do see how slow it is now it's just super slow. Uh, we have the other rush is definitely here because you can see them filing outside. Look how many people we have. We had 108 groups today. Let them fight over the door. It's fine. It's interesting that they keep trickling in because they should all come at one time. But it could just be the way that the bottom of the screen just looks. And again, as long as there's people waiting outside, these tables are fine. I mean, we can kind of monkey with this maybe one time. Will that make it kick another one back? It might. No, everything's going to be. So we're just going to sit and wait. There's not much to do except wait. Again, this is going to be a very, very long day. 
Now, if we would have not went with, oh no, look at look at the bottom, look at the bottom. I gotta get a couple burgers out here. I'm gonna keep feeding these, feeding these, feeding these. Yeah, I gotta just be super, super careful here. I don't wanna exhaust the rest of the burgers I have, but basically this is gonna be my backup burger. Is if a table, if we're gonna end up losing, like if we're getting so close to losing, I'll slap this one down and then it'll, it'll, uh, it'll, well, we'll be okay for a split second. The other group is gonna be coming in right now, unless they're trickling in now already, which they probably are. It's just, you can see how slow everything's going and there's nothing I can really do about it at the moment. We have plates, as long as we keep pumping, I mean, individual dining would probably still be better here. For, even though it'd be significantly more people, individual dining, I believe, would still be better for us. And the reason why is because it's just one burger per table. Even though there's more tables, uh, I gotta, I gotta send it. I gotta come on, get up. Oh no. Ah. Oh. And you know the funny thing, guys, is I actually ran this day prior to recording it, and I actually succeeded the day. Where I got to the point to where I had one table left, and I was gonna win. And I'm like, you know what? I want to record it because that the true epic, like that's the true episode. I just want to see if it what would happen. <clears throat> and this is the actual true recording. So something got a little bit more messed up. Oh, I really wish we'd had something good there. I mean, having the other teleporter wouldn't have helped us. It's just the speed of the burgers. Now, again, here's hindsight, right? Hindsight, if we do burgers again, we want to try to get a rapid mixer. Like, just get a get a mixer early, uh, you know, uh, research a rapid mixer and just store it somewhere. Like, that's the best thing we can do. The eggs don't need a rapid mixer. The eggs could be a regular mixer. It's fine. Oh, I wish we could have made through the day. We were close. I mean, we were way off, but I mean, we were still kind of close. OT Day 10 is actually pretty decent for burgers um, when you have nothing except, well, we have fresh patties. We don't think we even got the option for cheeseburgers, did we? That would have been easier, um, but that would have been more manual. But anyway, guys, let's, uh, let's just franchise. Why not? I mean... We always franchise. That's not the issue. We always franchise. Not a not a problem. We get a franchise. This, yeah, we always franchise everything. So I mean, this is the this is a great card. So we may come back to this tier one. Um, things are what are we what are we going to take though? These are bad cards. Like this really hurt us too. So this is fine. Instant all day, and then um, probably high standards, right? I mean, the beginning is going to be tough because things are burning faster. Um, but all we need to do is get, get it automated and then they're not going to burn anymore. Fresh patties are, this is a 15%. So this would actually not be bad off the bat, but I mean, the extra copy for the blueprint is actually pretty good. So we'll probably come back to this. See, we had 50% more customers, right? Plus burgers or plus 30. So that right there is 80% more customers. Like that's just insane. This card is also like, this is the card. This is why we lost. If they would have just come at it as a steady stream in, we'd be perfectly fine, but they didn't. So, and this is a great card, but let's just, uh, this is the way I would franchise this. I mean, uh, I mean, advertising isn't terrible, but the problem is you don't want herd mentality with advertising. So I think we'll just go with this. We'll franchise this up. I know this was a short episode, um, but uh, that's okay. We can, I want to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a fireside chat. So basically... I have another series at as soon as this episode, whatever day this comes out, then tomorrow I already have a series um, recorded, a pie series. I'm going to be out of town for a few days, so I have a, a series recorded. Um, in any case, and then once I get back, I'll get some fresh information, or not some fresh, I'll get some not fresh information. I'll get some fresh series up and running. And what I want to do is I want to start tackling some of these franchises. I mean, we literally have 62 franchises. Some of these are so like old. I mean, some of these that the ones that don't have names above them, those are the oldest ones um, because they just don't have names above them. And I'm sure some like Ghost Street Bistro, Salad, Broccoli, Sedate, Expectation, Mashed Potatoes. I don't even know if that's even a card anymore. Mashed Potatoes, Salad, you know, Pirate Cove. I don't even know what this one is. This is a bunch of All Rice with TOG, Pizza, Fish, Fish Fingers, Pie Palace, Squeaky Bee Salads. I think I did that with Cranberry way back when. Metal tables, salad. We have metal tables for no reason. Uh, well, that's the card we got, I should say. Cold turkey, spilling the beans. A lot of breakfast stuff. I like the breakfast. Here's another one. Ice cream. Simply. I haven't had ice cream in so long. Man. Crab shack. The prawn shop. What's this? This dumpling's for you. This must be a tier two, right? Oh, it's interesting because it shows fish. Oh, no. Oh, is this a... Uh, this might be an autumn run. Because it's all food. 
Well, no, it doesn't make any sense. Because well, they're mains. There could be the different mains. Tune in next time. Have a slice day. City walk. Yeah, some of these are very... Like, this is not a... It's only 200. What? So, yeah, see how some of these are broken? I can't even look at the cards. What? Wow. So, some of these are very broken. Like, look how broken this one is. Because it's always giving us 200 XP. Because some of these are very, very old, right? So, some of the cards have been redone. Not, not necessarily removed or changed, but they've been redone. So, some of them... Like, I don't even remember this one. Look at these. Called Fishing, Exquisite Service, On a Roll. What? I don't even, some of these I don't even remember, honestly. They must have been... They're so old. Hot Me Between Buns. This was, I think, what I did with Cran and Huffle at one point. Regular Fish. Ice Cream, Oysters, Mash. Hot dog mustard. Oh, we got queen of beans. This one doesn't even have an icon. Okay, this is another one that's broken because you have to view it like this. So there's something in there that's broken. So they probably wouldn't even work. Lettuce out. I remember this is an old style one or an old one. Crumb on it. I don't even remember these. Look at these ones, guys. The pork butt. That's actually not. Oh, this one. They don't. Okay, I know why. The ones that don't show up like this is because I don't have the mod installed for that. Because the pork butt is pork. That's likely why it wasn't working. Adobe, walk me through it. Salable Cafe. You guys remember Salable Cafe? Where I basically gave up on it because the way that the uh, smart grabbers worked. We should come back to that. Here's Pi314. Nice to meet you. Steaks for you. Burger Prince. Burger. And then head back to Burger Paradise. We have a lot of burger ones. So we'll see. The next series coming up, I will say, is a pie series, and and not to give anything away, but it goes quite a quite a decent. It's, it's a pretty good series, um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. But in any case, if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. We'd much appreciate it. And if, and if you enjoyed this series or any other series on my channel, hit the subscribe button, tick the bell notification icon. Also, head on over to the Interior Gardener second channel. Hit the subscribe button. Would really help me out. I have a lot of videos up there or starting to have a lot of videos up there about honeybees, renovations, bushcraft, outdoorsy stuff. A lot of stuff coming out through the month of July and August. So stay tuned over there and I'll catch you guys next time.